Welcome back to the ARC. I feel like every time we connect, it gets better and better. So we hope that you all are enjoying our videos. Please like and subscribe. And we're going to jump into today's topic, which is our marriage wealth conversations. Now, this is something that we find fruitful for our marriage. And please make no mistake about it when we say marriage wealth conversations. We aren't just talking about money, but wealth can also be love, togetherness, family, health in a sound mind, body, and spirit. And these things are also their forms of currency too. So having these conversations allow for us to keep the pulse on our marriage. It allows for us to build up our union by giving us intentional space to edify and focus on what the other is good at and also provide correction and safety. Let's do this. It's February. We're going to go through a few of the categories we enjoy connecting with each other in. And then we're going to give you some questions to begin to ask that hopefully will give you a little bit of a roadmap, like a guide. But ultimately, we just want you to be encouraged here. So let's talk about what a marriage wealth conversation actually is. So one of the things we like to do as a... you so fine. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. So one of the things we like to do as a couple is to have our marriage, what is it called? <laughs> marriage. So one of the things we like to do is focus on being good stewards, basically using wisely the gifts that we have to build, I guess I would say a kingdom. Uh, and for us as a married couple, Operating in oneness, uh, just working together, um, working in harmony, and just trying to solve things together. And that's kind of the best way to to really try to accomplish goals together. Okay, so maybe you are currently in a season of singleness. Maybe you are not quite yet married, but you might be in the courtship phases. Um, or, sir, <laughs> you may be in that phase. Um, or maybe you're married and just are trying to figure out how you all can come together better as one. Um, whatever stage I want for you to know in advance that these tips that we are planning on just kind of walking you all through and sharing will be beneficial for you if you apply them. One of the best things that I have always heard and that I oftentimes quote is that we hear the term knowledge is power and while that is true, Knowledge is only power when you apply it. There are only three rules to this. One, be transparent. Nothing is off the table to discuss, which requires egos set aside. Our golden rule is you can't be easily offended and connected. Two, if you're going to correct your spouse or friend, do it in love. Three, active listening ears on. Don't listen just to respond, but to truly hear the heart, mind, and desires of each other. So you can choose your own, but here are the categories we choose to focus on. Our health goals. Emotional check-in. Finances. Setting our business goals. Setting our renovation goals. And most importantly, setting our spiritual goals.
Now, my husband and I have very different personalities. I feel like I'm probably more of the extroverted one. And I'm definitely introverted, as you can tell, probably. And so, when it comes to the topic of growth, we have to be very, very intentional and mindful about that conversation and how we handle each other. As it can look very different for both of us. Because I am so extroverted, I tend to accelerate pretty quickly. Um, and for me, it's, I like to I tell her all the time, the step-by-step -step process, it works. When I tell you all, I come up with ideas and just the natural nature of a visionary. But the downfall, I could say one of my um, really, really like tough moments is only seeing the beginning and then seeing what I want the end result to look like and forgetting oftentimes that there may be 10, 15, 20 steps that need to happen in the middle. So I feel like you do a wonderful job about being like the execution in our marriage, don't you think? Yeah, you just have to slow down and just enjoy the process. <laughs> so, with that being said, you have to know that with growth, you have to be very patient and loving and kind in the way that you all handle each other going after goals or things that are just taking place within your household because you could miscommunicate very quickly because your personalities are different. Yeah, and I don't think our personalities clash. Not at all. We complement each other, we learn from each other. So, it's been really good. Yeah. So we were in deep conversation about the categories that we discussed before. So we decided to give our example of our emotional check-in with each other. How are you? Really? I'm fine. I'm doing okay mentally. I'm not stressed out like I was before working at the previous job. But feel much more at peace and relaxing and calm being at home, working at home now, so it's been good. That's so good. How are you? I am, I'm good. How can I pray for you this week? Um, I think over my mind because I'm noticing that it's like I almost feel a little restless laying down to go to sleep because I have so many thoughts in my head and I want to kind of like jot them all on paper because I think that I'm going to forget them. So I think just praying for me to be anxious for nothing. Yeah, I mean, writing everything down is good. So I know sometimes you thoughts come like three o'clock in the morning you're up doing research or whatever it is you're doing. Yeah. But I guess we just have to pray that you shut off your brain when you need to and then that all those thoughts come back to you when you wake up like in its proper time so you're not losing rest over it. Yeah. And I know one of the big things that you always tell me is like, I don't want you to burn out. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm, I've seen it happen already many times before in the past. You get overwhelmed and super stressed out and then there's been many times where you caused you to give up, but then I have to step in and take over a little bit and kind of give you the encouragement to keep going. Yeah, and I'm always so thankful for that. We would love to hear your aha moments. Maybe you would like to share below in the comments what categories work for you and your marriage. Let us in on it.
Until next time, like and subscribe. We'll see you on the arc.